Hey what's up guys Shubham here and today in this video I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu 13.04 uh, in your Android devices okay and guys I'm just refilming this video uh, I had already uploaded a video regarding this uh, installing Ubuntu in your Android devices uh, but some of you said me to re-upload the video in just better way so I'm just doing this uh, okay so let's get started so guys first of all you have to download four apps uh, four different apps um, the first one is complete Linux installer this one is the second is Android VNC uh, let's focus there there's always a focus problem in my camera okay the second is Android VNC the third is terminal emulator and the fourth one is any uh, what do you say file extractor so this is very cool file extractor this is a zero actual file extractor so download for uh, for them and first of all open complete linux installer it's gonna look like this and slide it from the left side like this and now tap on the install guide now after tap on that you should hear and now tap on the latest version of ubuntu it's 13.04 tap on that now go on to page number two and now you have to tap on the download image okay just forget about both of these because I would already tell you that you should download this and just you have to go on the links in the description down below I'll give you all the links of the all four apps uh, which you should download so just tap, uh, go and download it from there so you should not search for that now after that just tap on the download image okay now here's the three options there are large image small image and core image so the large image means it has all the features small images less features core images more or less features so i recommended you to tap on the large image okay so tap on the large image and now after you tap there i recommend you to uh, direct uh, download it directly not from the torrent because there will be some issue and um, because i tried it from torrent but it didn't downloading from there there's some issue i don't know what why so directly download it from internet so tap on force uh, from source for what is there and download it from anywhere so I'm gonna download it from my browser okay R2 tap there you should do nothing uh, just wait um, to let show you the download page okay it's directly gonna download it no page will occur except this okay as you can see here it brings me here and I'm gonna stop this because I had already uh, downloaded this as you can see Ubuntu 13.04 it's around uh, uh, 771 megabytes so download this and after you download this you have to open Zerd Archer okay now just uh, find where you have downloaded so in my case I have in directly in the SD card so now what you have to do you have to tap on this okay and after you tap on this you have to go and tap on extract okay or you can tap directly extract here and gonna extract it here but why I am not doing this because uh, there is uh, some storage issue in my SD card my SD card is not have sufficient storage so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extract it in my computer okay and I'm gonna remove this one okay so the downloaded zip file so it's taking the 770 megabytes of storage of my SD card and unfortunately I do not have uh, that much storage available so I'm gonna extract it in my computer and then I'll show you what happens so um, let comes <laughs> uh, come with me with my computer here in, uh, I, have, I am in my computer right now and uh, this uh, has 14.04 LTS Ubuntu and uh, this is the f uh, zip file and I had extracted it and it creates uh, two files uh, without folder and uh, two files inside the folder I don't know why so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this folder into uh, my um, device SD card so I'm gonna copy paste there and uh, we'll meet in my device okay so here I had copied the item in my SD card so it's okay so before that I need to just turn off the uh, USB storage and I'm gonna remove this okay and then I'm gonna open the my file explorer or anything 
I'm gonna go to SD card and as you can see here this is the folder which I had copied now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename this go into storage uh, sorry go into settings and rename it and I'm going to rename this folder as only Ubuntu so the folder name is Ubuntu and as you can see it's Ubuntu now open the Ubuntu folder and inside this there are, there are two uh, images so you have to name uh, you have to rename this just tape one uh, just hold uh, just long press on the one and just go into settings and rename this and you have to remove this 13.04 um, large so I'm going to tap it here remove this so the name should be um, ubuntu.ext2.image okay and now press ok and now here also you have to type you have to just okay sorry guys uh, what you have to do is I'm so sorry guys uh, you have to rename it and you have to remove this ext2 also okay so the name should be uh, ubuntu.img okay and here also in the second one also you have to rename it and uh, here you have to uh, remove again uh, dot ext2 okay so the name should be ubuntu it should be dot okay so the the image is uh, the name is ubuntu dot img dot md5 okay so make sure these two things so the first one the size is 3.7 gigabytes and the name is ubuntu.img the second is ubuntu.img.md5 and the size is 62 bytes only okay so after you do that just uh, uh, get out from that and uh, now what you have to do is after you do that you change the name of the folder and the name of the all both of the uh, image file you have to open uh, complete linux installer again and you have to slide it again and now what you have to do you have to tap on launch button so I'm going to tap on that and uh, select the Ubuntu as it already selected Ubuntu and uh, now tap on uh, start Linux so I'm going to tap on that and what it's going to do is it's going to automatically opens the uh, terminal here and uh, the first one what you have to do is you have to type uh, N for this one because uh, Y is not working here so I'm going to tap N uh, so I don't want to use to check so I'm gonna tap N and then uh, then I'm gonna press enter okay so N and enter it's gonna do this and then it says enter new Unix password so enter any password which you can remember so in this case uh, I'm gonna type Ubuntu only so U B U N T U okay now press enter again and uh, again type Ubuntu retype and guys you might notice that it is not showing me the password so that nobody can see so type it again Ubuntu okay now press enter and it says start VNC server press Y yes I want to start VNC server so I'm gonna press Y and enter and then it says start SSH server yes again type Y and then press enter and then it says uh, enter your resolution so guys here what you have to do is you have to search for your device display for example this is Gioni P3 and this device has 4.3 inch of display and uh, I tested this resolution 800 by 480 and it's working perfectly fine so don't try to enter this resolution as of you uh, because you your device may have some bigger display or much smaller display so just for first of all search about it that which resolution uh, will be perfect for your display okay so in my case this displays uh, this resolution is perfect for my display so 800 by 480 so I'm gonna type 800 X uh, 480 okay 480 as you can see I type it here 800 by 480 now press enter now wait some commands will appear here and just a second just wait for a while okay so it says uh, save setting as default so I'm gonna press Y to save all the settings yes Y and then press enter again and guys that's it so what you have to do uh, do not close this just press home button 
okay now do not close the terminal it should run on the top as you can see here it's running right now uh, as you can see terminal session is running so now after do that uh, just go into Android VNC okay now here create a new one so tap on the that connection and tap on new I'm sorry it's so small just tap on new and nickname you can name your Ubuntu machine so I'm gonna name it as Ubuntu now next is password so the password is what we had done in that uh, Linux terminal okay so the the password was Ubuntu okay so then address I'm not gonna enter any address leave it as it is the port is 5900 and the color format I'm gonna choose is this 24 bit color 4 pp 4 bpp okay that's it uh, you should not uh, you should not do anything uh, except this color should be 24 bit the port is 5900 uh, no address the password is what you had entered in the terminal the nickname I had entered is Ubuntu and the connection is new now tap on connect and it's now connecting and guys congratulations you have now um, installed Ubuntu uh, in your Android devices so just a second guys it's gonna load that up it's gonna take a little while so as you can see something happens on here as you can see Firefox is right here I don't know you can see or not let me just focus it there again as you can see there is a Firefox option sorry for the quality of my uh, camera but there is a Firefox icon is there on the top okay now the uh, desktop also comes here okay so here is the time it shows time 11 5 but this time is not correct right now and here is the Firefox option and just a second guys someone comes to my home sorry guys for the inconvenience and uh, here as you can see here I'm tapping here and there to close this I'm trying to tap there okay so there is uh, so much problem to tap here and there so if you want to change the type of your mouse so what you have to do to go, go and tap on the settings so Juni P3 has settings here so what you have to do is you have to go into input math mode and uh, here it says touch mouse pad so I'm gonna go and try this one and as you can see here uh, this is like this wherever I go and it's gonna go here so I don't want this one also I'm gonna go input here and sorry guys for the focus mode it's not working okay so there is also one more thing it says touch mouse let's try this okay it's the same thing so you can change your uh, type of your mouse as you can see those desktop panning mode what's this I don't know uh, this is different it says mouse pointer control touch pen what's this so as you can see here you can change your mouse control I'm not gonna take so much of time in this so that as you can see I'm gonna cut this it's a little bit tough to do that but okay it's gonna take a little while but you can do that so let me just first open the uh, Mozilla Firefox it's it's really very slow uh, sorry guys um, for the pause video because my SD card of my camera becomes full so as you can see here this uh, this type of thing opens so it's a complete computer uh, so there will be some issue uh, you can ask me if there's some okay this is the file manager okay so there are some issues which happens in the computer okay restart Firefox I tap on the Firefox but Firefox has Firefox as a problem so it's gonna ask me that okay so now the Firefox has started and as you can see this is the Firefox uh, quit Firefox so uh, as you can see you can run your uh, 
computer like this there will be some issue and you can tap on the restart firebox or you can restart your uh, what do you say this uh, Linux Ubuntu so after you close this with Linux Ubuntu uh, okay so let me just remove everything else so what you have to do is you have if you just uh, open this and just cut this for permanently if you switch off the Linux as you can see on the top uh, the terminal removed so what you have to do again just go into complete Linux installer slide like this launch it and tap on start Linux and it's gonna say I'm gonna tap yes okay so it shows this okay so uh, I'm gonna close this one and again I'm gonna go tap start Linux and as it shows this one so you need to again type only one time and and it all the command automatically runs no need to type again and again as we had done it for first time so as you can see uh, all thing happens so now tap on the home uh, button again and now type Android uh, just tap on the Android VNC and uh, this is what we are now so tap on connect and that's it guys it's gonna open this one so now if you open the second time it's gonna do like this okay so it's gonna take a little while to open uh, this white screen after this white screen there will be some um, your home screen will be there so that's it guys thank you for watching this video i hope you like this video and i hope to see you in my next video and if you have any questions any query about this video uh, you can ask me in the youtube comment section i'll really try to give the answers and solve your problem uh, and if you like this video please click on like button and if you have any question about this just ask me in the subscribe uh, ask me in the comment sections subscribe for more videos thank you this is shubham signing off bye bye peace always bye